Kayla with My Book Nest. Welcome back to my home. Today I want to share with you a couple of fun projects that I've been working on for my kids, teachers. So I wanted to make a little gift for them for an end of school thank you gift. So I'm going to share with y'all what I came up with and how I did that. I wanted to share as well that I'm using photos from Free Prints if you have not heard of them. They're an online platform and you can use your app to um, select photos from your phone and free prints. So they have given me a coupon code. I'll pop it in the screen here so that you can see it. Um, this will give you 15 free photo prints with free shipping. I have linked and made available to you all of the art that I have used for my free prints and that I designed for you. So that will all be on my blog at liveoaknest.com and you can just head to my freebies and get those downloaded. So I wanted to give you a quick little sampling of some of the things that I designed for this specific video that you can find in my freebie library. So I designed these really cute little tags and I used some different ones on the teacher's gift, so I haven't used these yet, but how cute. I love how these turned out. And then I also printed up a couple little cards that you could use like a little gift card or stick into like a little gift sack that would be cute. So I printed up some vintage art prints that turned out so cute. I love these. Wouldn't that be so pretty in your kitchen? So these are all free. They're on my website. You can download them for free and you can upload them to the free prints mobile app and then have them printed for free. So it's amazing. Um, these are just such great little ways to change up the decor in your home. Love this one. So pretty. And then I also always do just a couple of my <laughs> sweet kiddos because we have a bulletin board in their playroom and they like to hang photos on there. So I like to print some photos up for them for that. Um, love free prints. It's such a great service. I love being able to print these photos and use them in projects and they look beautiful. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you the little gifts that I made for their teachers, show you how cute they turned out. So here is a quick run through of the photos that I had printed with free prints. Again, you can get all of these vintage art prints and the gift tags over on my website at liveoaknest.com. So the first thing I want to do here is trim up some scrapbook paper. I'm going to be using this as backers for the gift tags just to make them a little bit more sturdy and give me something um, that's not quite so slick to write on. So once I have all of that trimmed out, I'm going to go ahead and glue these onto the backs and I'm just using some Elmer's glue for this project. Um, you don't need anything special. So I'm going to get them lined up and pressed down really well. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my paper trimmer to trim everything out. And if I have any um, overhang on the photo or on the backer paper, I'm just going to trim that off. So once all of that was done, I'm ready to get started on my little jelly jars here. So I'm going to be turning these into cute little floral vases and I wanted to do like a French inspired um, etched design on each of the jars. So I am using the Cafe Chocolate Stencil from a Maker Studio and if you are new to their stencils, they are amazing. They are mesh reusable stencils and the detail that you can get with these stencils is just, it's absolutely wonderful. So I've decided to use four different designs. I have four little jars that I'm going to be working with and I've decided to use etching cream. You could also use a Maker Studio ceramic paint and I actually originally planned to do the ceramic paint because I thought it would just pop a little bit better but I didn't have any white. I only had um, a blue that I didn't think would show up very well. So I decided to go with etching cream and I still love how they turned out. And if you haven't worked with etching cream before, um, consider this your invitation to give it a try. It is so fun to work with and there are just so many options and projects you can do with it. 
So before you get started, you want to make sure that your jars are really clean. I used a little bit of Goo Gone to get the sticky residue off of these jelly jars and then I just rinsed them and washed them really well with warm soapy water. So once that's done, you just want to take the backing off of the stencil and then um, adhere it to your jar. And you want to make sure you press down firmly all over your label really well because you don't want any of this etching cream or if you were using the ceramic paint, you don't want any of that product seeping up under that mesh. So for the etching cream, I'm going to use a paintbrush to apply it and I'm going to work in all directions with my brush to kind of make sure that it fills in all of the design really well and then I'm going to go back in and kind of layer it on just a little bit thicker. That way when I remove the stencil I have a good amount of etching cream just sitting on top of that glass to um, make sure that I get my design etched in clearly onto my glass. So I did four different design styles on each of these little vases. The ones that had a larger um, less detailed design tended to show up just a little bit better but they all ended up looking beautiful and I just wanted to kind of show you how they turned out. I really do love them and I just think they are so sweet. So I definitely want to keep collecting these little jelly jars and make more of these in the future. So the next step was to hole punch my tags and get those ready to tie around my little vases. And you can see here a couple of these I ended up using on the arrangements and then I saved a couple for um, a future project. I decided to make a little loop around the tags with a little piece of twine and then just slide it onto the ribbon. I just felt like it helped the tag hang a little bit nicer and it wasn't quite so stiff. So you can see here I just slid it right onto that ribbon and then I went ahead and tied my ribbon and um, added a little bow to that tie. So we picked up some fresh little florals from the grocery store and tucked those inside of these vases and I think they just turned out so cute. So I did also order some little plastic card picks off of Amazon and I stuck one of those down in each vase and then put a little card um, on top that said thank you for helping us bloom um, and then I included the little gift card with it. So I think these were just such a sweet little gift for the teachers for the spring and summer seasons just as a thank you for helping my sweet kiddos. So if you noticed at the beginning of the video I showed you a couple of different art prints that I had printed that you can grab off of my website for free. So I'm going to frame a couple of those up. This one here, this frame is from Amazon. I love the little feathers so I grabbed it and I thought that bird print was perfect. And these frames here I purchased last year but I have linked them um, on my blog for you. I used them in my spring um, craft video last year so I'm kind of making those over and adding in this little sheep art print to this brass frame. And then I also have um, a Psalms 91 printable on my website and I just paired that along with this sheep and shepherd print which I thought was perfect together. So I have this styled in my kitchen and I just love how this looks. for watching today's video. I hope y'all really enjoyed those projects and that it inspired you um, to make something yourselves. So I also want to know in the comments down below what is your free, your favorite of the free vintage art prints. I love providing those for y'all and I just think it's such a great resource for y'all to be able to um, print something for free and decorate, decorate your homes for the different seasons. So let me know what you think. If you haven't headed over to the freebie library, make sure you go check that out. I've kind of revamped that in the last month or so, and I just have so many beautiful art prints that are available to you for free. So let me know what you think and y'all take care. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.